Hello everyone! It has been quite a while since I recorded my last tutorial and today I'm gonna teach you how to download the proprietary NVIDIA drivers if you are using Fedora Linux 35. I think this tutorial will work if you're using uh, Fedora Workstation 34 too um, but I'm currently using 35 so if you wanna if, 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 if you have like a a recent um, a current NVIDIA graphics card this will most probably work this is probably the tutorial you need so don't look anywhere else you're on the right place already so I have three commands here which I got from the RPM Fusion page the official page so don't worry everything here is going to work um, so first things first you're going to do sudo dnf update slash why uh, this will already update everything as needed so just you know let it update its thing and I already updated uh, recently so there is nothing new here and so if you if you have anything updated in this process please reboot your computer after doing this and then come back here so the next step is going to do sudo dnf install ak mod nvidia so it has to be the AK mod one because this is for Fedora 35 and and other stuff. So you're going to like agree with this. If your computer is in English, it will probably uh, I'm sorry, it will probably be Y and not S. S is because it means sim, which is yes in Portuguese. So don't worry, it's going to download everything as needed here and just agree with everything. Uh, it's going to do its thing, it's going to download its stuff and uh, if you're not sure um, NVIDIA is already supporting uh, Wayland on Fedora 36 uh, even the proprietary NVIDIA graphics will work with Wayland so just don't worry uh, follow this tutorial and you'll be very happy I think that the only thing that currently doesn't work with NVIDIA proprietary and Wayland is something like really 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 specific that you probably won't care and I'm, I, I particularly use Wayland even if I'm using an NVIDIA graphics card so okay you can stop here but it's also cool to install the CUDA driver so we're going to do sudo dnf install xorg x11 drive NVIDIA CUDA and just do an enter here and agree with it that's really fast so let it do its thing. So congratulations. Next time you restart your computer, it will magically work. So I recommend you to stay on Xorg. I particularly stay on Xorg even though Wayland already supports. Even though I actually said that, that I use Wayland, most of the times I'm using just Xorg, X11. And now the only thing that you need to do is to type reboot and everything will be fine. You already be using uh, the proprietary NVIDIA graphics card if you come here okay my computer is really slow right now because I don't have a graphics card driver installed so if you see here right now uh, if you open the NVIDIA X server on your computer before installing the proprietary graphics card you'll see that there's no information here because you're using the Nouveau driver um, so it's not going to show anything so the next time that you reboot if you open the nvidia x server settings there will be like information about your graphics card the version everything so you just need to reboot now i'm not going to do this because i have to stop recording the video and if you want to check it out also you can type uh, on the terminal of course nvidia slash s i'm sorry smi uh, it will show you the current version of the proprietary graphics installed also will show the CUDA version so yeah just, keep, just type this and you'll be sure that you're using it so yeah it's just this easy the next time you reboot your computer you'll be using the proprietary graphics okay so I just rebooted my computer and just so you can see if you come here and go to NVIDIA X server settings you will see that now you have many info like the NVIDIA driver version um, the, you have like lots and lots of settings here to mess with 
I also forgot to show you that if you type here NVIDIA SMI, you get these info like a driver version, a CUDA version, so you know that everything is working as expected. So that was it. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you next time. Bye bye.